Welcome, welcome. Get yourselves comfortable as we create a beautiful ceremonial space here today. I ask you to ground into your body. Feel the earth holding your body lovingly, beautifully, tenderly. Know that everything has a plan. Everything is divinely manifesting in the absolute correct tempo. So why don't we take a moment and get grounded. Feel the connection and the blessing into your body. Feel the gratitude of your curiosity into what is transpiring here and now. Okay. Take a few deeper breaths to so take a full breath in and exhale it out. We're creating a ceremonial space here tonight. And if you're watching the replay, of course, this energy is coming through on a much higher level than just through time and space. We use the hermetic law. We use the symbols of uh, future Reiki so that this vibration that comes through my voice and through my body and through this transmission will benefit you in the highest way possible. So I'd like you to relax your shoulders and take your mind and retreat yourself back into your knowing. And as you draw your awareness in and back, if you're laying down, feel the back of the head relaxing. Allow for your mouth and jaw to soften. Maybe the upper palate broadens. Maybe your inner ears start to relax so you can go in and connect to your inner knowing and witnessing. Become the seer of your own self, the seer of your body, the seer of your thoughts, the, fee the seer of your fixing, the seer of your contemplation. Take a deep breath into your heart and exhale it out. Let go in your shoulders and arms and just observe your glorious heart beating Who beats your heart? That's where we're going tonight. Calling upon all the six directions, holding us now in this moment and time in a beautiful ceremonial space. We call upon your I am presence that beats your heart, your divine self. Step forward. We call upon your guardian angels your angels, masters, and teachers, ascended masters. We call upon your totems. We call upon any devas or anyone that you might be associated with that can vibrate on this higher level at this moment, holding you. From the east, we call upon Archangel Raphael, Raphael, Raphael. These vibrations are huge. It holds all the constellations together. You are that. Because the vibration from Archangel Raphael and all the other Archangels actually reside within you. We call from the south, Archangel Michael, Michael, Michael. Archangel Michael comes with this powerful energy holding you in his cobalt blue wings, where you can relax and soften more and know that you're well taken care of and you're, you will be noted when you need to sharpen your discernment. We also call upon Father Universe with the sapphire blue energy. Come, hold us, thank you. 
from the west, we call upon Archangel Gabriel, 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 powerful Archangel of the water. Waters inside of you, around you. Let's zoom out, become the seer of our own beautiful Gaia, the planet. How much water, how much joy there is. We are that. We are all connected. And we are part of the earth. Hold her in the highest light now. Thank you. As we face the north, we call upon the archangel of the earth. Uriel, 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 come be with us. Bringing in the ruby reds, bringing in the golden tones, balancing red, orange, and yellow. The first three chakras. As we ground into our bodies, we can begin our spiritual work. Root, receive, observe. Thank you. From above, from the heart of the grand central sun, we go up and through your I am presence, higher up into the grand central sun. Archangel Metatron is coming strongly through Feeling and allowing the flower of life to ignite in your sacral. Feeling and allowing Metatron's cube to go through you, on you, and around you, and clear and rebalance all of your energy fields, your electromagnetic field, your protons, your electrons, good, and your neutrons because you are a vibrational being. And we ground even more now through our feet into and through our earth star chakra. Down the layers with Archangel Sandalphon, come be with us. Reaching the core, the heartbeat of the earth. As we appreciate and connect deeply, deeply, fully, fully the heart rate of the earth. And the wisdom from Sophia rises on us, up through us and around us as we connect above and below, as within, so without. We call upon the dark mother who can take all of the chaos and in mysterious ways create brilliance, healing, the deepest, most compassionate love there is. Are you willing to surrender your stress, your hardships, your patterns into her? Give it to her. She will gladly receive it. As tonight I am taking a card from this glorious goddess mm, who came out of Durga Shakti's third eye when she was fighting the demons. She came. She chopped the heads and the egos off the fixing, the doing, the trying, the surviving, and the blood kept floating out and creating more demons and she drank that blood too and hanged the skulls of the egos around her neck representing her strength, her fierce love, her creation for you. Sometimes we have to be fierce. Mm. And she comes tonight to us in the form of number nine. Number nine is the mental number where we're just about to surrender and go to the next level, which is number 10 which is beginning and endings. So we are at the threshold. So we call upon Mahakali, Mahakali, Mahakali. Come, 
great wisdom mother, the mother of the darkness, the mother of the fierce love. Come, hold us, cradle us, help us through this threshold into the next level. Take our insecurities, take uh, our sickness, illness, pain, take our monetary doubt and turn it now in to the highest glorious trust. We are the ones, the star seeds, that are leading this by being in it and allowing for it to go through us. But we are not alone. We have so many helpers here. And she's here tonight to remind us. Om Rim Shim Krimadia Kalika Pramashira Swaha. Om Rim Shim Krimadia Kalika Pramashira Swaha. Om Rim Shim Krimadia Kalika Pramashira Swaha. As the Reiki flows and cleanses all through our chakras. We lay in awe. We call upon the elementals, earth, water, fire, air, and space, which our bodies are made of. We ask the Council of Light to come down now and work together with our higher selves, so I am presence. And please calibrate our physicality now. Work through us now. Create healing, realization, attunement. Let us collapse our timelines into that one imaginative divine timelines that our hearts is longing for this grand powerful longing take it and transmute and create that which we long the most for She wields the holy sword of divine severance, empowering the soul in radical letting go. She instills the courage to bear the pain of loss and the wisdom to realize the secret blessing that can only arise when we finally embrace change where our strength of will may falter she intervenes to ensure we do not sabotage our ultimate fulfillment and spiritual progress we will not allow our souls to be ensnared in any kind of deception or trapped in fear she is the liberator and her sword clears the path, revealing our truth. Kaja, 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 the Sanskrit word for sword. Devi Kadgashta means the Divine Mother who wields the sword. What is this sacred weapon? The sword serves breaks, destroys. It can be a symbol for truth and the need of the soul to let something or someone go. Even through the attachments of the ego may demand that we remain connected out of fear of loss, fear of the pain of loss. Devi Kali's sword is a symbol of her will and her attainment. Her sword knows which attachments require severing 
and when and how to obtain such a release. Even when we're holding on in doubt or fear, please, please help us. Regressive tendencies creep up on us slowly so that we don't really realize how much damage is being, damage is being done over time. Even when we have a sense of something is not quite right, our awareness can never be complete when we are determined to remain attached and unwilling to see any truth that threatens that attachment. Let's let go now. Let us accept the advice that what we are struggling with can and should be handed over now to a higher power. And the higher power is our I am presence, the council of light or angels, teachers, masters, and of course, the one who loves us fiercely and tenderly at the same time. feeling this beautiful workings. These events that we are in now, almost through, are orchestrated at a high level. The timing will incorporate the path of those you have soul contracts with and the movements of collective consciousness for you to be at the appropriate vibration to move into harmony with where you need to be and whom you need to interact with, certain releases have to take place now. You can trust in the doors that close just as much in the doors that will open as a result. Are we ready to let go tonight? I'm reading a prayer now for you. Beloved Divine Mother Kalima, Devi Karyasta, you wield the divine sword of protection that severs attachments and allows for spiritual progress and freedom from the heart to find and express divine fulfillment. May the process of letting go bring me peace and receptivity to the greatest blessing you generously bestow upon me for the spiritual benefit of all beings, for the highest good for me, highest good for all involved, highest good for all of humanity in service of our planet, in service of our universe, galaxy, and multiverse. Jai Ma Kali, Jai Ma Kali, Jai Ma Kali. <sighs> Let's give ourselves this opportunity to emotionally and mentally let go. Become pleasantly heavy and relaxed sink deeper. You may sense a stillness or begin to notice pain or tension as you become more present. Be with whatever is happening now without judgment. Breathe in and out. We're counting ourselves a little further into this relaxation. We're counting from five to zero. Five Four, relaxing muscles. Three, seeing ourselves letting go. Two, one, zero, deep sleep. Like we're pouring a glass of water on the floor, it spreads evenly with soft 
beautiful edges. Soften your edges around your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual bodies now. Soften your bones. Let go in discomfort. Give yourself permission to drift deeper. Nothing to do. Just one part of a second of surrender is all you need to hit the wormhole of reversing and receiving everything, changing the magnets, changing the polarity. Allow yourself for the grace of Kalima to gently firm, clear, support your being. Be kind to yourself. If you feel like you're still stuck, it's okay. Kalima has patience that is unending, lasting through and through billions of years. She knows everything. And she knows when you had enough pain, you will be ready for her grace. And until that time, you're still learning. Let's honor this divine wisdom in the temple of Kali that exists within your heart now. She knows. Let's trust. Who beats your heart? Who breathes your lungs? Who is the vastness of love, of infinite intelligence, who is the space between the stars? That is the dark mother who will life in and life out hold you. There is no judgment. Let's go deeper. Simply do nothing. It's all taken care of. It's all planned. It's perfect. You are divine. You are harmonious. Surrender it all to your I am presence. Surrender it all to Kalima or any other deity that you know. At the end of the time, it's all the same. You are love. You are God. You are the one who chose and keep choosing this beautiful experience. You are the pioneer and you are the brave one that took physical form at this time of transition. Embrace yourself with love and kindness now. Trust, trust, trust. It is time. All of our chakras are divinely harmonized and in line now. The body too. We are the seer of our own selves. Here we are together in this time and in this time and in this time again. Let's rise and become aware of the awareness of ourselves. The one who is aware of the awareness, being aware of itself. This is who you are, connecting to that. We thank all the divine ones that are here 
and especially beautiful Kalima, this glorious, wrathful goddess that takes all of our ugliness and makes it into divine beauty because we let go, let go, let go now. There's nothing for you to do. There's nothing for you to fix. Simply know, simply be. And we thank all the divine ones. We ask that this healing will be integrated with gentleness and ease. Thank you. That this healing will be the highest good for you. We give ourselves some time here and we count ourselves back now from one to five. On five, and feeling and integrating this powerful transmission and healing. One, two, three, four, five. Eyes open, feeling relaxed and in your knowing. Place your hands over your heart. One, two, three, four, five. Wide awake and alert. Feeling gratitude and knowing. Feel free to interlace your hands with the two first fingers bent, the thumb and the pointer, and have your right thumb over the left. Bring the rest of the fingers together for Maha Kali Mudra. Place it on your heart and shine your fingers up through your heart chakra up through your throat chakra up through your pineal gland pituitary gland and let this energy shoot up and open your beautiful glorious violet thousand petal lotus to receive the blessings in your heart in your inner child and so it is so it is, so it is. Thank you, all the divine ones that are here. Thank you, Maha Kali, for continuously and steadily show us our gifts. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this powerful healing. And I will see you next time. Thank you, thank you, thank you.